All right there guys and welcome back to the second channel. Haven't made a video on here in about in over two months. And you might have noticed that I've changed my name for my second channel from Callum Smith 2 to more Callum Smith. It just felt it just sound to me it just sounds better. That's my only reasoning for changing it at all. And that's in that's kind of one of the trends for YouTube to name your second channel more than whatever your main channel is called. But yes, we are back with some real talk. This time I wanna cover university. Now I have never been to university, so you're probably thinking, then why are you talking about university if you've never been? Well, that is exactly the reason why I'm going to be talking about it. If I had been to university, I wouldn't be making this video. But I do want to make this video about talking about, uh, talking about university. And why I believe it's not actually as good as as it everyone who has been tries to make it out as. First of all, let's start off with your living arrangements. When you go to university, very very it's very very likely you're going to be living there. You're going to be living there. When you go to university, you're not you're not going to be able to stay at home. You're not going to be able to live at home for the time being. You're going to have to live there. Of course, it in one way it's a good experience because you know you're living away from your family, which you've been used to for so many years. So you've got the experience. You get the experience of what it's like to live away from home. Right. That's kind of the only good thing about it, though. I mean, yes, you're at the university as already, so you don't have to find it. You're you're already there. You don't have to go look look for it anywhere. But that's the only good point about it, because li living at your university, there's so many things that can go wrong. Let's see what examples are there. Uh, let's see, you're trying to get. To, you say you've got a very very busy day busy day ahead of you the next day with with uh assignments and courses and what you're doing and people in either the other rooms either left to the left or right of your room if there are if you have neighbors either side or say your your room is close to the kitchen on your floor and people are making a load of noise, despite it's quite late at night and they should be asleep. And they keep you awake pretty much all night. So you're incredibly tired because you got no sleep and you've got so much to so much to do ahead of you. Why is it since when is that an a good living arrangement? Getting no sleep because of other people that live there. It's literally the same as getting a noise complaint, complaint in, a, in an apartment complex. But you're students, so you can't, there's nothing you can do about it. That's the issue. You're screwed, you're screwed either way. But there's of course, but the main point I wanted to talk about is the cost of university. The cost of university here in the UK is normally £9,000 a year. Nine grand a year. Right? Think about that. Not just 
anyone can afford that. That's the thing. That's why going to university only favours the fortunate. And I mean only. Only favours the fortunate. Of course, I never wanted to go to university anyway. But my but I think the point still stands that you could be doing... No, think about it. You could... Say you're not very fortunate, right? You don't... Say you don't... You're not... You're not rich and you're not poor, but you're not... You're doing all right, but you're not doing amazing, right? But say... Say your, mo your mom and dad aren't making a ton of money, but they're making easily enough to get by, right? And you're doing amazing in school, right? Say you get, I don't know, A's on pretty almost everything you do, and there may be a few B's, right? And you can go to college or university, and you just, you decide university, right? You decide to go to university. That's nine nine thousand pounds a year. You can't afford that, can you? If you're not that, if you're not as for that fortunate, you can't afford that. Meaning, your chances of going on to do what you want, which with the grades you have, is very po is a very good possibility of happening. And it just get and there and boom, it's taken away from you, simply because you can't afford it. It's your your dream is taken away from you. Like, who can who not just anyone can afford nine thousand pounds a year, can they? Not just anybody. So not only do you have you have to be so you already have to be fortunate, so you've got a bigger advantage on everyone else to begin with. But the biggest flaw in universities are you're paying a very large you're pay, you're paying a substan a substantial amount of money without with no guaranteed success just because you go to university has no get doesn't mean you, you are guaranteed to to succeed at whatever you went there to do meaning you could fail your course and you've just and say you go there for 3 years and you've you end up failing the course right at the end you have paid £27,000, right? That's... I mean, that's kind of like... That's like one full year's wage of someone, right? Twenty-seven grand is like a full... A year's worth of wage. And you have to pay a year's worth of wage to a university for not passing your course. Effectively, you've just wasted nearly 30 grand for nothing. And now, yes, you could say, well, the student didn't pass because they weren't, they, they just didn't study hard enough or they, they, didn't, they didn't try as, try hard enough. Yes, that very well could be a, one of, a case. But there's always that chance that the university teachers just don't, just don't actually, they don't care about individuals. They just treat, they just... They expect everyone to be the same. So if some people are working, working, able to work faster than others, the ones that are not able to work as fast, they don't care. They 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 don't care about you. They're not going to give give you the help you need. So you're waste. So you've wasted nearly thirty thousand damn pounds over the course of three years. For nothing. Essentially, you the university's the university has sca has scammed you. You've literally been scammed. But the thing is, universities can get away with it, even if I, my second option, which isn't as likely, of the teachers just not caring about certain people because they don't want to help them, because they expect everyone to just be the same. Right. Even though not everyone is this, nobody is the same. Everyone works at different pace. And how? So that person hasn't achieved anything at that uh, uh, that they that they set out to do, and they have a shit ton of debt hanging over, hanging above them, 
and no way to pay it off. I really just don't understand what the appeal of universities are. Yes, going to university gives you a very much higher chance of getting a really good job. But that's not guaranteed. There isn't a guarantee of that happening. Yes, success is earned, not given. That's all. Yes, of course. But when you try, but when you are trying to earn that success, and the people that are meant to be there helping you are denying you that success and scam, pretty much scamming you. That just isn't right. That's why I will never go to university. Not I am ne not interested. Never have been. Never will be. And I and can't afford it anyway. That's the thing, universities effectively it's not considered scamming if you don't succeed if you don't succeed at your course and you have to pay all that money. It's not considered being scammed. But effectively, you are being scammed. But somehow that that that's okay. The universities are allowed to get away with be with scamming. But nothing else is. Uh, anyway, that is what I wanted to, uh, that's what I wanted to say. Uh, tell me if you guys have been to university or not, and whether it was worth all the money that had to be forked out for it. And even if you do succeed, there's still a mountain of debt you have to pay off, and that, that could take... I don't know, up to 30 years to actually for finally fully pay off. 25 to 30 years just to pay off the debt, even though you succeeded. You you still owe the university money when you're years after you've gone. So they're, they're effectively getting paid for all these years that they're not even doing anything for you because you've been done that. But yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, follow me on all my social medias, and until the next second channel video, whenever, whenever it will be, catch you later.